Hello guys, welcome to my crib. Come on in. Let me introduce to you my best friend. This guy on the couch here. His name's Chris, and uh, he's playing Black Ops all day long on this television. This television is 3D LCD flat screen high technology. And uh, yeah, let's get upstairs. Let me show you guys something. This right here is my working room, my working desk where I do all my commentaries and stuff. And uh, we have some some new bills, but I can't pay them. Yeah, just sit down. Have a seat and uh, let me show you guys the things that I did. So the MP5K right here, submachine gun, and I'm going to compare five different submachine guns today according to their recoil. So um, often it's kind of random, but the most guns actually act the same uh, according to their recoil. And the MP5K is an upturn and right straight recoil. And yeah. Russian gun. Here we have the Scorpion and sadly the Scorpion has just low range so it's just effective in close uh, quarter combat but it is a point blank gun as you can see so I won't uh, suggest you to use it dual wield with steady aim because of its huge spread that it has. Here we have the AK-74U most hated gun and overused weapon in this game as a upturn and a slightly, slightly right strafe recoil, but uh, this gun is just, in my opinion, too accurate, or maybe just lower the fire rate of this gun. Because with rapid fire, you just pwn everyone. Let's paint this wall in black because I like black. And we have the MPL, and in my opinion, the MPL is almost the same gun as the uh, MP5K. And uh, yeah. The recoil is almost the same as the MP5K, so if you if you're tired of the MP5K, just use the MPL. Well, it's just the same, but it looks different. And the last gun is Spectre. And Spectre has a lot of recoil, in my opinion, but uh, it has a uh, higher rate of fire, so uh, you can still own with this gun a lot. And I'm going to definitely use it more often because I like this gun. And uh, of course, I'm going to post the gameplay with a scorpion very soon. So now we're done with this, and I want to show you guys something actually new that I'm doing. And this is some backyard domination at my crib on Nuketown. I'm going to explain to you guys some ta tactics how I do. Uh, get high kills at this map and uh, thanks for for the Christmas noobs it's not that hard actually but uh, yeah just going to show you guys how I and Warlock Pro and uh, Ninja on this map with the Farmers and the Farmers has uh, suppressor and extended max and uh, especially on uh, small maps I like to use suppressed guns because the enemy can uh, track you down with his red dots on, on this map because you're not appearing on there and uh, as you can see right here we have a struggle to capture B so what actually is r really helpful on this map is the napalm strike in this situation I just would have placed it right in the front of the enemy's house so he won't be able to pass through there and we just can't take easily on B but uh, yeah as you can see here I'm placing the napalm strike and what I also prefer on this map is frag grenades over Semtex because frag grenades still uh, kinda roll a little bit if they hit the ground and you may be able to hit a couple of guys and uh, if you use tactical mask pro it's also a very helpful perk on this map if you throw a lot of stun grenades or concussions so uh, this is just helping you and now as you can see I got my chopper gunner we're still not having B in our possession so with this help of this chopper gunner we're maybe going to take it and uh, I get the chopper gunner twice on this game 
they killed a huge amount of kills. Actually, this is my new record on kills that I have. And um, I'm just thought, well, let's post this game. Let's make some strategy guys out of it to help you guys out to get also this incredible score if you're having struggle on this map. Because you die a lot on this map. That, that's for sure. And um, for a lot of people, it's just a struggle how you can uh, get a lot of kills. So as you can see, the most time I spent behind this red delivery truck. <coughs> Excuse me, to drink something. You can easily check the left and the right and the middle through this uh, red truck. It's absolutely no problem with this one. But the actual problem is that your enemy teammate, that your own teammates may uh, go over the top and try to take three flags. This is stupid because uh, it will cause heavy spawn switches and the, especially on small maps the, the enemy will be all over the place so uh, it's better for you not to take three flags just take two and uh, behind that red truck you have absolutely great cover to, uh, to manage not to let the enemy slip through your front line that you just build, build up and what you can also do is not run directly to B if it's going to be taken just throw some frag grenades or concussions flashbangs whatever uh, to avoid the enemy to take it uh, if you need to get to, to the middle rather take the way through the house or through the garage or through the right side of the house uh, this is the tip that I, I can give you right there <clears throat> so uh, yeah just throw grenades if B is in danger and take your way through the house. Another great spot where you can be on this map is right behind that player counter. If you're having A and B and behind that player counter if you just lay in the grass pretty near to that uh, player counter and you have a suppressed weapon you can get a lot of kills if the enemy uh, tries to run through the left side of their house. So. This is a spot for easy kills and uh, a lot of people think that you can actually pick up a lot of kills at the window but I don't uh, prefer or actually absolutely don't go to the window because if I uh, notice someone up there I definitely going to check more often the window so uh, this is no good spot good, no good spot I think well at least to me and um, the napalm strike is a very effective kill string on this map because you can lock up certain parts on this map but uh, you don't have to be uh, or you shouldn't be too confident and place the uh, napalm strike right in the enemy territory spawn whatever and as you can see right now on my mini map a lot of peoples are in a specific area of this map at the right right path at the uh, house of my enemy's house if I would have placed a uh, napalm strike right there I would have got a tremendous multi kill and it would me would cost me a boner but uh, unfortunately I haven't got a uh, napalm strike at this moment so it's kinda sad and uh, yeah don't forget your defense because this is something a lot of people underestimate on this map and uh, if you lose A or whatever, you're just going to get pushed back, and this is no good. You try, you just need to try to avoid this. And if you're a good player in pop matches, try. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do everything, but try to keep your eyes always on the uh, flag indicator on your mini map and on your surroundings to uh, to pick a lot of kills and kill streaks and uh, of course capture a lot of flags which is the main purpose in uh, domination so here I get another <clears throat> napalm strike and I see that my enemy is trying to take A and they got it and this is crap but uh, I can't avoid this anymore so uh, we're going to take C and we're almost losing B and I think we're going to lose B, I'm not pretty, pretty that sure. But uh, I'm trying to uh, hold down my enemy at A 
And I'm going to place a napalm strike right now at uh, behind the house. So uh, we're going to uh, cage them before uh, the house. And this situation right here is a uh, pretty big fault that I did. Uh, you don't want to kill the first guy if you see three guys in front of you. You just want to kill the guy that's mostly going to notice you and shoot you. So if I just would have shot another guy, as, except for the first, then I would have gotten a nice triple kill. And, but uh, the last kill just got me my chopper gunner and it's all good. So uh, yeah, we're almost at the end. Still trying to capture some flags. Well, the enemy. We're just defending. And yeah, this gameplay is coming to an end. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And yeah, leave a comment. Tell me how you how you liked it, or even give me a like. I'm always happy about that if this happens. And yes, I hope to see you next time and definitely looking forward to do more of this stuff. I'm the Fat Boy and I wish you a great weekend. Peace.